see each one in the house of God tonight to worship Him. Praise Amen. God. Even if it is Wednesday night. <laughs> Praise God. God's still good. Yes, yes sir. All the time. Keep on going. Praise God. Book of Leviticus, the ninth chapter. And start reading at verse 1. And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take thee a young calf for a sin offering, and a ram for burnt offering, without blemish, and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both of the first year without blemish, for a burnt offering. Also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings, to sacrifice before the Lord. And a meat offering mingled with oil, for today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. Praise God. You may be seated. He said, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded that ye should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. They were offering sacrifices for sin offering, uh, for peace offerings, and a bullock and a ram, and they were sacrificing it before the Lord. Moses said, For today the Lord will appear unto you. And he said they, they, were, they brought that which Moses commanded for the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that you should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. I don't know about you, but I want the glory of the God to appear. Yes, yes. I, I, I title this, and it may seem kind of, Kind of, kind of strange, but, but and, and, and I've touched on this a few times before, but but it just it just kept kept coming back to me this week when I when I try to to, to study or, or get something together for tonight. I kept going back to this, but but I, but I came back and I titled this thing "Offering Sacrifice in My Temple." All right, come on now. Offering sacrifice in my temple. Now they, they were offering sacrifice in the tabernacle, and tabernacle means temple uh, also. It's got several meanings, but one of the meanings is, is temple or dwelling place. Uh, you, could, you could look at it like that. But, but they brought these before Moses, and uh, Moses offered them before the Lord, and Aaron and Moses. And skip it on over to verse 22. The Bible said, and, and Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people, and blessed them, and came down from offering of the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation, and came out, and blessed the people, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. Why? Because God was pleased with what they had offered. Right. He was pleased with the sacrifice that they had, they had offered there in the tabernacle. And then, then verse 24 says, And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. In other words, they, 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 they were worshiping God because of what they saw, because uh, the fire had failed and consumed the sacrifices that had been offered of course, we know, and we, we know that uh, Jesus Christ became a that supreme sacrifice, that 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 supreme lamb for sacrifice uh, 
uh, for our sins, and, and he offered himself. Amen. Uh, he he uh, became the high priest. The Bible said he was a high priest after all, after the order of Melchizedek. And if you'll study out Melchizedek, there's not really a whole lot said about him in the Word of God, but we do find that he was the high priest that met Abraham, and, 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 and uh, there uh, Abraham, uh, he blessed Abraham and, 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 and was thankful that God had given Abraham victory in battle, and, and Abraham... Uh, uh, of course, pay tithes if you, if you go look at it to Melchizedek. Uh, and the Bible said that Jesus Christ w was, a, was a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Uh, and, and so because uh, not only was he the lamb for sacrifice, Jesus was the high priest that offered the sacrifice, offered himself and given himself uh, a, 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 a lamb for burnt offering. If you go to Hebrews the ninth chapter, in verse twenty-two, it said, "And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood is no remission." It was therefore necessary that the pattern of things. I know, know it's, and if you if you begin to study out uh, the book of Hebrews, you 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 find. It brought out a lot of the patterns of the Old Testament and, and, and brought them in, in, into understanding in the New Testament uh, of, of things that we should, we should follow. But he said, It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Nor, nor yet that he should offer himself often as a high priest entered into the holy place every year with the blood of others. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world, has he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself? The sacrifice of himself. So, so he offered himself as a sacrifice for you and I. Uh, he, he uh, in the spiritual sense, he went behind that curtain in the tabernacle to offer himself a sacrifice. That that was that was that was uh, a blood sacrifice, as as the the pattern of the Old Testament has given that the blood of that lamb was sprinkled sprinkled on that altar, or blood of that bull, or the blood you know it was sprinkled on the offering uh, for the remission of their sins. But we know we know now that the the, the blood that he shed was for the remission of our sins. But we don't, we don't stop there. We go into Romans 12 and, 12 and 1 and get to where I want to get to. Romans 12 and 1 simply says this. It says, I be beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. He said, now, now you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So how do we, how do we present our bodies a living sacrifice? That means that, that, that uh, 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 we give up the world to live for Him, basically. We give up the things of the world to live for Him. We sacrifice our life so it can become His. Amen. We offer, we offer sacrifice in our temple. See, He said, you present your, your, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. But look, 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 and 20 says this. What? 
You know, it's like it's like it's like Paul said, huh? You know, like, like he was caught by surprise. He knew he knew what they were saying. He said, "What? You know how we'll do sometimes? You ever done that to anybody when they tell you what? You know that's why basically that's what he's saying. You what? Know ye not that your body? Look at this. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost." which is in you, which you have a God, and you're not Amen. your own. You're not your own. Why? Right. Because now you become a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Your body is the temple or the tabernacle right. of the Holy Ghost, which is right. in you. Amen. So, so, so now you're, you're a tabernacle of the Holy Ghost. You're, you're, your body is a living sacrifice to the Holy Ghost. And it said, for, for you're bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and your, in your spirit with your God. So now, if I present my body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, and my body is the temple or the tabernacle of the Holy Ghost, then I, then I can begin to learn how or know how to offer sacrifice in my temple. Right. Yes, right. Right. I offer sacrifice in the way I live. Come on. I, 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 the, some of those, see, I have to, I have to sacrifice, I have to, I have to die daily sometimes right. on, those, on those things that, that, that's not pleasing to God. Right. Uh, so, so, so I have to sacrifice some of the pleasures of the world so I can stand true on the Word of God and stand right. true to God. Amen. Right. So, so I have to offer sacrifice in my temple or my tabernacle. It's my reasonable, the Bible said it's my reasonable service. So he paid the ultimate sacrifice. He died. Amen. In the sacrifice that he offered. That's right. Bible just tells us to be a living sacrifice. See, see there are, when, when we give our lives to God, there are some things in the world we're going to have to give up. Amen. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Paul said the things that once I hated, mm -hmm. because at one time he hated the church, mm -hmm. and what they stood for and what they taught, he said, the, the things that I once hated, he said, now I love. Why? Because when he became a living sacrifice unto God, his desires changed. Uh, yeah. When the Holy Ghost came into his life, his desires changed. He, you know, he no longer wanted to do those things anymore. Amen. Because he wanted to please God. Right. He wanted to please God. But look, Look at look at First Peter. First Peter, the second chapter, and verse five. And it says, Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. I mean, how many know the Bible tells us it, 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 in the book of Revelations? That he's made us kings and priests unto the Lord. Amen. Hmm? Yes, sir. But look what he said. You, you also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. To, to do what? To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So, so, now, since, since I'm of that holy priesthood, then it becomes my obligation uh, or, or, or my duty as a priest to offer sacrifices in my temple. Right. Amen. That, that was the duty of the priest. But it's not animal sacrifices anymore. Right. It's not the sheep, it's not the bullocks, it's not the goats. But it's spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Right. So, so, so now 
I've got to, I've got to offer, I've got to start offering up spiritual sacrifices unto him. If my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and I'm of that royal and holy priesthood that Jesus talks about. Amen. Who's the head of that priesthood? Jesus. Right. Huh? So, so he says, "Ye yeah, also as light as stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices." acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Then dropping down to verse 9, he said, But your chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, and that word peculiar means, means purchased people, that you should do what? That you should show forth the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. So that becomes our ob obligation. That, that becomes our, our sacrifices that we offer up to Him. It's our worship and our praise. See, you've got to go back to the beginning and realize one thing that we were created to worship Him. Right. Amen. Of our own free will. Hmm? That, that, that's, what, that's what He's wanted all along. That's what God's wanted all along. See, He already had the angels that would stand around and cry, holy, holy, holy. Right. But He created you and I with a free will and of our own will and our own love for Him. He wanted somebody that would worship Him. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, Amen. So, that you should show forth the praises of Him who have called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Yes. I would say which in, which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of God. He's talking about the Gentile people, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Hebrews 13, verse 15 and 16. Look at this. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. All right. Uh, somebody said, Brother Wright, why do you preach and teach on worship and praise so much? By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. How long? Continually. continually. How often? Continually. Amen. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to His name. Yes. I ought to wake up every day praising Him. That's it. You know, sometimes we don't. We might well say, Oh, me. Bless Him, Lord. Huh? But we ought to. We ought to, we ought to see that sun come up and say, right. Thank you, Jesus. You let me see another day. Yes. But it is our obligation to offer spiritual sacrifices in this temple. In this temple. By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices... God is well pleased. All right. Yes, sir. It pleases Him when you worship because Amen. you want to worship Him. Right. Huh? Amen. Spontaneous. You know what pleases God more than anything? Like spontaneous worship. You know, not 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 when when the, when the preacher has to drag it out of him. Uh -oh. <laughs> hmm. But spontaneous worship because it comes from the heart. Right. right. Because it comes from your love for Him. Amen. To do good and forget, you know, communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to please God. How do I Amen. please God? Through worship and praise and loving Him and serving Him and living for Him. But look what happened. If you go back to where I read 
in the book of Leviticus when God was pleased with that sacrifice. When he was pleased with that sacrifice, what happened? The glory of God appeared. The glory of God appeared. And fire came down and consumed that sacrifice. Those, those of you that have been around this long enough, you know that when we walk into, in here and we begin to praise God yes. from our heart yes. Yes. and begin to worship Him and then we've got everything out of the way. We, we forgot about where we're going to eat at the church. We, we, we forgot about what's going on tomorrow. Right. We, we, we've, laid, we've laid our troubles aside and we decided I'm just going to praise you tonight, yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what, what, and as, as it begins to... to, to, to uh, be spontaneous. And as it increases and it amplifies and it gets to the point that God is pleased with our sacrifice that we've offered in our temple, what's going to happen? The glory of God is going to appear. Right. Somebody's going to take off running. Somebody's going to take off shouting. Right. Huh? <laughs> right. Somebody's going to speak in tongues. Somebody's going to Shout glory, hallelujah. Yes. And can't, they're going to dance before the Lord with all their might because yes. they can't contain no more. What's happening? The glory of God That's is appearing it. and the fire of God is That's coming it. down and it's consuming right. that yes. sacrifice. That's the reason that John uh, wrote, he said, there's one coming after me whose shoes I'm not worthy to stoop down in a fashion. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Yes. There you go. Hmm? Where does it come from? When I offer a pleasing sacrifice in my temple. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In my temple. Praise God. Praise God. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. You want to please God? Increase your worship. All right. Hmm? Increase your worship. Yes, sir. In Psalms 116 and 17 says this. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. Then Psalms 141 and 2. He said, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. You know what I mean? You know what? What uh, 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 that incense would do, it would send up a sweet smelling savor, the Bible says, to the nostrils of God. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice, as the evening sacrifice. Praise God. Offering sacrifice in my temple. How much sacrifice have I given to God here lately? How much sacrifice have I offered to God here lately? Have I offered enough that it's pleasing to God? That it's pleasing to God? Or have I just offered enough that I think it might get me back till the next service? Get me by the then. Hmm. I don't know why I want to offer sacrifice till it pleases him. Yes. Yes. And I know every, I, listen, I, I understand. I understand every service is not going to be a shout. Right. But in some way, somehow, we need to offer God some sacrifice every time we walk through those doors. To communicate to God. The sacrifice of our lips, the praise on our lips. Praise God. Praise God. I was thinking about this before church as I was sitting there and just sitting there. Nobody had got here yet. And it, it, it kind of hit me. And I thought of the scripture in, in the book of Revelation where it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. And I thought, Lord, how many times do we just slow down long enough to listen to you to hear what the Spirit has to say. Huh? 
which our people call it some quiet time. Um, are we too busy asking God for right. something? All the time wanting something, he wants something and never giving back. See, when we give back worship and praise unto him, that's when we begin to offer sacrifice unto him. God help us to offer more sacrifice right. in our temple. That's all I'm saying. I got a message from Sister Paulette. Um, now, I think I was pressing prayer for her. She Other. Yeah, I heard he's wearing a heart block. 